everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be doing some more work on the Mini Cooper S. So today we're going to be replacing this horrible looking silver stock R53 filler cap and we're going to be putting on the R50 uh, British Racing Green flat filler cap. So that's going to be like this, it's going to make it look a lot more smooth. You've seen the thumbnail so you know uh, the difference it makes. Now it is quite a task getting this on here, uh, we are going to have to remove the wheel and also the trim inside the wheel arch to get to the filler neck so just be warned if you aren't the most mechanically minded person this might be quite difficult for you um, I'm going to give it a go, I've never done it before so hopefully shouldn't be too bad and another little word of warning before you do this make sure your fuel tank is quite low so don't go and fill your car up and then try and do this because we're going to have to remove the filler neck from the back of the filler cap here and if your fuel tank's full then there's going to be fuel in there and when you detach it from the filler cap it could leak out so I've made sure that I've got about half a tank in here that should be fine so it's just not going to leak everywhere so first job we're going to jack the uh, car up and get the wheel off here Okay, so we've gone ahead and removed the wheel here. I've just put it to the side out of uh, shot for now. Now, when you get to this point, um, have a little look at the vehicle. Make sure that everything is as it should be, which on this car it seems to be. Um, I'm not really too worried about things, but you can have a look. Make sure all your suspension components and everything are as they should be uh, before you proceed. That's always something just to have a little look at. Um, but we're going to go ahead and remove this plastic trim in a minute. Before we do that, I just want to give a few little pointers. When you're jacking the car up, make sure um, if you've got a scissor jack, like I have, um, all these R53s came with a little scissor jack. Make sure the bottom of the scissor jack is completely flat when you jack it up, because otherwise it will dig in the ground one way or the other. And they're not the most stable jacks, but they will do for something like this. And uh, also these R53s and R50s, they have um, some little um, razor blocks under the car uh, where you can actually jack the car up. So that is known to be a structurally sound point on the vehicle and it has a little block on there that you can jack the car up on. So make sure you're jacking it up on there and not something that's going to bend or buckle. Um, but apart from that, we've got a few screws in here nothing too complicated um, I've just got a Phillips head screwdriver here we're just going to go ahead and remove this shouldn't be too difficult to be honest so mine actually has this little plastic lip thing on here now not all of the R53s have this uh, the R50s certainly don't my R50 does not have this um, so yours might not I'm not really sure what they're for but they basically just have Two little clips on the inside here, one here and one here. You just get a screwdriver under and it just literally flips straight off. So it's not really too difficult to get off. So with these clips, just with a screwdriver, just flip them off like that. That should come off now. Why isn't it coming off? Whoops. Okay. So it does have... Uh, does have these little clips on the back as well which I didn't know about so let me give this another go there we go okay that's off now so the 
they're not really strictly necessary but I'll hold it up to the camera and you can see what they're like so these are the two little clips this one, this one here and this one here and then it also has this little clip on the end uh, that hold on this whole little thing and I think all that does is just stop this little join here because there is a join I think it just stops that splitting apart but my R50 doesn't have it and it's never split apart so not really necessary but there we are right so I think I've got every clip out I need to now we've got one off the bottom here there's two in the top one on the back here one on the very actual back side of the car that attaches to the bumper and then there's two on the face inside the actual wheel arch so now we've got to take this out and because I haven't cleaned the car before I did this there's probably going to be a lot of crud in here but there we go wheel arch is out and before that goes back in it's going to have a good clean but we'll just put that to the side for now and now we can actually see inside the um, wheel arch here which is where the filler neck is so let me grab the camera and I'll show you Okay, so in the wheel arch, that's what we've just taken off um, all this trim inside here. And if we go in, that is the back side of the filler flap here. So on the other side of there is the filler flap. This is the filler neck that goes down here, all the way down into the car and into the fuel tank, which is just under there. So now uh, we need to undo the filler neck here. So there's one bolt here and one on the other side that will probably be quite fun to get to. And then we can take this whole unit off the back side. So the next step we've got here is actually removing this plastic surround here that you can see I've now completely got off here. And you can see that's just plastic and it has these little clips all the way around. There is four clips. And you can actually see them on the front here. All you've got to do is get a screwdriver. So i got quite a big screwdriver like this. Just stick it in the side. So when this is in here, stick it inside and lever that side out. And then leave that screwdriver in. And get another screwdriver and lever the other side. And you should see that it will pop the two sides out. And then from there, all you need to do is push the top one and the bottom one. And the whole little ring should come out. So that ring is off and that means now we can see what's going on in here a little bit easier and we need to remove, there is another plastic lining which also just has more clips. So if I go like this you can see I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. There's a clip there, there's a clip there, so that is that one and that one are off. There is another clip there. They are all loosened now. So with a bit of careful persuasion, I've managed to get the whole um, filler cap unit out. So the whole thing comes out in one go. So you remove the you remove the actual like nice looking trim bit first, so you can get to this black bit right here. And then there's a bunch of clips, you can see everything on these minis has clips. There's clips just like this one here, and you've just got to get a screwdriver behind them and prise them out. There's one at 12 o'clock, one at 3 o'clock, one at 6 and one at 9. And the problem I had was, every time I got three of them out, the fourth one wouldn't come out. And when you try to go to the opposite side to get that one out, the other one popped back in. But yeah, give it a go, see if you can get it out wasn't too bad after all and now we can uh, go ahead and start putting the new one on now when you're putting the new one on um, before you do that I'd give this all a bit of a clean in here because this is filthy and horrible 
So it's time to put the new petrol filler cap on. Um, I've just put this on here for safekeeping just for now. Uh, but we need to take that off. Uh, so you need to make sure you take your little, the actual like cap um, to get to your filler neck. And then I've got the new unit here that we're going to be putting on. This is what they look like. Um, I'll just turn it around so you can have a look. That's what it looks like. And it just has like one spring in here. And then um, it basically opens like that. And that is how you get access. This is where your um, filler neck will be. And it actually goes that way. So it will go in the car like that. And then you have the flap there just like that and I've also got the green filler flap that you saw at the start that just screws onto the front plate here it basically just has uh, three little clips there's one there one here and one just here and it basically just presses on and you turn it so it's not too difficult to do the other thing I want to show you is this little wire or this little little lead that goes to the top of your actual sort of cap um, you need to thread that into this tiny little slot at the back of your actual filler unit so the way that I do this is open it up you can see where it's going to go just like that and then you want to tuck it in this little gap there's a little hole through here for this um, arm to move I'm going to tuck it through there that's where the old one went and then I'm going to find the little slot and just press it in to there like that and there is a bit of stretch on there as you can see um, there's a little bit of loose on there but that's so when you take the cap off it can just dangle down like that and that's what you want so the way you do this is I'd close the whole unit first and you want to tuck this long side here around to the left first. <clears throat> now it is a little bit of a squeeze so just bear that in mind going in. Uh, you may actually have to open it to get it in. So just open it, I'm just going to let that dangle down there. Okay, so managed to get the um, filler flap on here. Works just like it should. Looks perfectly, you know, normal on there. Um, when I did this though, uh, the filler neck in here that we took the screws out of, that are just behind here, um, I did have to wiggle it a little bit, just bring the filler neck down and then slot it in and then just wiggle the filler flap through the little rubber seal here it wasn't too bad to be honest um, but give it a go see if you can do it so all we have left is to put the actual filler flap on here and then we need to put the um, plastic wheel trim back under the wheel arch and all you do is you press it on and then just twist it and that's not quite sitting on there how I want. There we go. And that is new filler flap on. There's a little bit of a gap around there, but um, you can have a little fiddle with it and sort it out. So that is that done. We'll just put the plastic wheel trim back on now and we are done. And there we have it guys. The new filler flap is installed. I've put in the wheel trim under here and put the wheel back on and it looks absolutely fantastic i've given the car a bit of a clean and i'm really really happy with how it looks i think it's a big improvement over the chrome one that was on the car when we started but that's going to do it for this video i hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to fit an r50 style filler flap on an r53 mini it's not too difficult give it a go if you have any problems you can always leave a comment that's going to do it for this video thanks all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.